Yes, I watch every single anime for the new season, and this is me right now. But don't you worry, we have lots of really good anime this season. And of course, me waifus. Let's start off with the 3 new god tier anime this season. Oshinoko gives us an incredible premiere episode for the season, or maybe for the year 2023. The animation, the songs, and even the eyes prove to us that this is one of the anime that surpassed its manga, and we are dying for more animation studio that delivers quality animations just like this. And here's a million dollar question. What similarities that both Rengoku and I have? Both of them make us love them in less than 2 hours and leave us just like that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Heavenly Delusion has surprised me in many ways, especially the end of episode 2. And I can't believe that I missed this anime out in my previous video. The author are using two storylines to give us a picture of the world settings and hiding hints here and there. But so far, I am really hooked into the story and looking forward for the rest of them. Hell's Paradise, the colors, fight scenes really give an impact to the audience. Even for me, who don't really watch much shonen anime. Although the first two episodes are a little lengthy because of the conversations, but after that, it's like eating chewing gum. The more you chew, the more flavors you get from it. So I'm not surprised when it comes to the top 1 anime in anime trending list. But Demon Slayer Season 3 has a higher spot in my top anime list this season. It's the anime for you after table to flex their animation budget and then new video editors hired from Bollywood. But because they make Nezuko so cute, I can ignore all that. You don't love me! In contrast, my home hero and blue orchestra are unfortunately those anime with really good story plot but not blessed with a higher budget. Like this Bruce here mysteriously disappeared and appeared on the next scene, as well as lots of free scenes used in just a single episode. If both of them are blessed with this, I'm sure they can compete with the other top tier anime. Spring 2023 also offers us a lot of really good romance anime, and I'm sure you'll find one of them for your fat that I mean your liking. Tony Kawa Season 2 for those who envy married couples, Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts, and the Ancient Mega Sprite Season 2 are perfect for those who, you know, but I like it even more for the human form. <laughs> the reason why Riliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion is the anime that I'm really looking forward to, but after seeing the second episode, I'm really worried about the animation quality. On the other hand, my love story with Yamada-kun at level high 199, Skip and Loafer, and the dangers in my heart are those guaranteed with quality. And please let me know anywhere I can get an incoming gamer like Yamada. We don't do that here. But before that, allow me to introduce my second waifu of the season, Shiori, who get married to her new boss after he touched her stinger by accident. The Galaxy Next Door is a very sweet story that has a pretty waifu, but that was before I read the crossover manga with Grand Blue. And now I can never see Shiori the same way again. Do you find yourself having sleeping problems and can barely hold yourself during daytime? Well, today is your lucky day and I have a few solutions for that. First, go find a quiet place around your school to sleep, especially a place which is rumored to be haunted. And if you're lucky enough, you might get yourself a new partner. Second, just get yourself a Red Bull. Otaku Elf is a story about an elf who got Isekai to our world and become god for one of the shrines in Japan. Because she can live a very long life and is afraid to experience more separations with her loved ones, she became an otaku. A really fun and relaxing anime to watch and you might learn a few animal related knowledge throughout the series. Two Cute Crisis is another relaxing anime to watch especially for cat lovers because you may find how relatable you are with her. And please don't let the cats know they saved the world from aliens' hand. Martial Magic and Muscles is a story of Mob joining Hogwarts after his 10 years of training in muscle club. I'm pretty sure after watching this anime, the famous question of who will win, Saitama vs Goku, will be changed to Saitama vs Marshall. Huh? You say why not Goku vs Marshall? Oh, because Marshall can do this. If you think the legendary hero is dead, it's weird enough. Then Magical Destroyers is the anime surpassed that level and purely filled with chaos. 
I don't know it's because of the amount of references, the transformation scene, or because she looks just like Pippi Me from Top Team Epic. This is me after watching each episode. What the f Roku Doll's Bad Girls is an anime that people may skip because of its art style. The story is about a high school boy, Rokudo receives something from his dead grandfather one day and suddenly gets really popular among the Yukon girls. It's not just an average harem anime. Rokudo actually tries to get these girls back to the right track. And even when he got the strongest girl by his side, he never used her to fight back his school bullies. Respect. The Marginal Service is one of the few original anime offered in this season, telling a story of Brian who got fired from his police job and joins an underground power ring I mean the marginal service team and fight against aliens that are hiding among the society. At least here, Aegis expansion, just cute girls doing cute things. It's bland. While Kitsuna no Alile is slightly better, we still managed to see Kitsuna eye for the first 2 minutes, but after that, it's bland. But if you're looking for real idol, the idol master Cinderella girl tells us that when taking care of one girl is not enough, what about 9 of them? I can't tell you if he is a group producer, but I can assure you that he is the most baby-faced babysitter I've ever seen. My Cruelest First Friend is another anime with great schoolers, and it's a story of Tayo, the new transfer student is curious about his classmate being called Grim Reaper and wants to be friend with her. Instead of comedy, I like to put this anime as an anti-bullying anime, and it's really cute and heartwarming to watch. World Die Star focuses more on the acting career in the industry, and makes me more curious after they drop the twist at the episode 1. Yuri is my job is more like the Yuri version of Blend S with some drama, if I put it correctly, because Yuri is just part of their work persona, to show to their customers and to the audience. If you're not into the Yuri service, the Cafe Terrans and Egodoses might be the fan service anime you are looking for, and it literally satisfied your needs in the first minute of first episode. Toshochu Great Mission is actually based on a real life variety show in Japan, which focuses on hide and seek and play tag, and participants get to win money prize. The typical I am the main character so I'm gonna win story pattern if nothing out of the ordinary happened. And Opus Colors is an anime talking about art, but the art doesn't really give me much impact. Isekai Spring 2023, while excluding the sequel anime, most of them are the exact same formula you see for every other season. So I came up with my own Isekai with the title of I got Isekai after saving people from danger, and the gods reward me with max level skills, and now I can't wait to see the shocking faces of people who underestimated me. Stop it. Get some help. <sighs> Is there any good isekai this season? <laughs> Kamikatsu, working for God in a Godless World. It is probably one of the few isekai that really got me hooked into the story because, first, it gives me a Konosuba white. And second, this. <laughs> you serious? I don't know whether is it intentional because they have been using these low quality 3D models for every animal. And just when you thought, ah, maybe they are low on animation budget, they give you a slap in the face by having a few scenes with high quality animation. Konosuba, an explosion on this wonderful world, is the awkward anime where I'm not sure to put it in isekai genre or as sequel anime because it focuses on the story of Negumin's past before she joins Kazuma's team. Although some say the series is missing something, but I am still enjoying the anime so far. And it has its own laughing scenes. That Mount Death play is where you thought the hero got isekai but it's actually the necromancer. And he just wanted to live a normal life in the new world but was dragged into various incidents and becoming your new friendly neighborhood corpsman. Phew, there you have it, my quick impression on every single one of the new anime this season. Overall, Spring 2023 are giving me good feelings and let's see whether it can compete with last year. Let me know which of the above are your must watch this season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in next video.